السلام علیکم ورحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ ان پریویس کلاس وی لینڈ اباؤٹ مورفولوجی اینڈ وی لینڈ دیٹ وی کین کیٹیگریز اے مورفیوم ان ٹو ٹو کیٹیگریز فسٹ ون وچ از کالڈ از فری مورفیوم اینڈ سیکنڈ ون از باؤنڈ مورفیوم ٹوڈے وی آر گوئنگ ٹو لرن ڈفرینٹ کیٹیگریز آف باؤنڈ مورفیومس so there are bound morphemes which we can add into the beginning of a word to make a new word like in we can add that in in the beginning of the word complete and it became incomplete and these kinds of bound morphemes which we will add to the beginning of a word is called prefix so if we add a bound morpheme to the beginning of a word we will call it prefix and the other bound morpheme is called suffix which we will add at the end of a word like full in the beautiful so there we added a bound morpheme full at the end of the word beauty and it became beautiful so in our new chapter we are going to focus on prefixes and our next chapter will be on suffixes so today's class we will learn what kinds of difference a prefix bring to the word what kinds of changes in the meaning a prefix can bring to a word first of all we can understand some examples for prefix with its meaning so in the given examples the word with a prefix is bold and italics as you could see so the first example is this picture is complete but that one is incomplete there we added a prefix in into complete and it, it became incomplete and it means that that picture is not complete another example is i connected the line but he disconnected it again so here prefix dis is added at the beginning of connect and it became disconnect and it means discontinue and another example he maltreated his son so the son ran away so here we added a prefix mal to treat and it became maltreat and it means treat someone badly and lastly my friend is bilingual so here we added by as a prefix to lingual and it gets a meaning of two we are saying here my friend knows two languages so these are some examples and in coming slides we will learn more about these prefixes and meanings that we will get from adding some certain prefixes to a word there are many uses for prefixes some of them are given in this slide first one if you add a prefix to a word we will get negative meaning of a word or also we will get a revisative meaning of a word revisative means the revised meaning of a word for example do and undo so undo is a revisative meaning of do and also we will get a pejorative meaning of a word it means a disapproval meaning we will explain each one of these meanings in detail in coming classes so we will learn more about pejorative in that time and also we will get a meaning of number degree time location and attitude by adding prefixes to words and in today's class we will focus on negative meaning that we will get by adding a prefix to a word the prefixes which gives a negative meaning is called negative prefixes and it means if you use that prefix we will get the meaning of not or opposite of something and these negative prefixes mostly attached to adjective noun verb and adverbs we will learn examples in coming slides and the most common negative prefixes are an or un and in in dis dis a and none we are going to learn examples for all these prefixes first we can focus on un or an so an mostly occurs with adjectives like unending 
unkind, unexpected. But there are some adjectives with which this prefix un doesn't occur. First one, words like good, strong, tall. The prefix un doesn't occur with these words because these words have different forms to express their opposite meaning. For example, for tall, we can say small for good we can say bad so it has another way to express their opposite meaning so the word and doesn't occur with these words and second adjectives which doesn't occur with and are adjectives which have bad or pejorative meaning so words which already have a bad meaning or a pejorative meaning like naughty or wicked or cruel so the word un doesn't occur with these words because it already got a negative meaning so if you add un to this negative meaning it, it will result in a positive meaning that's why un is not joined with these words so we can say no unnaughty because if you say unnaughty by combining two bad meanings it will may become a good meaning Second example for negative prefix is ill, which mostly occurs before the word beginning with L. For example, you can add ill to legal, it will become illegal and illegible. The third negative prefix is ir, which mostly occur with the word beginning with R, like irregular and irreligious. And the fourth negative prefix is im, which mostly occur with the word which starts with P or B or M, like impossible, imbalance and immovable. Another negative prefix is in which occurs with all words without any certain criteria and this word occurs with adjectives and also with nouns. Examples for adjectives are incomplete and inevitable and also in comes with nouns like in inability, inattention and injustice. So we will get a similar meaning by adding in or and as a prefix to a word but words made of in is much lesser than the word made out of an and an is mostly used with adjectives whereas in mostly used with nouns for example an in unable is used before an adjective but in used with inability and another example unequal and inequality unequal is used as adjective inequality is used as noun and unjust and injustice unjust is used before an adjective injustice is used before a noun so in short un is used mostly with adjective and in mostly used with nouns and some words which is made by adding in prefix may have unique meaning which means it doesn't equal to the opposite or negative of its root word for example the word infirm we made that word by adding in as a prefix to firm but the word infirm has a meaning of weak in health but that meaning is not opposite of firm because we never use the word firm for good in health so even though most of the time in is used to get an opposite of its root word but sometimes it is used for unique words which is not opposite to its root word as we learned in infirm and another example is infamous infamous is used for unknown person because of something bad so the root word of infamous is famous which is used for someone who is very familiar and very fame among the people and we never use the word infamous for someone who is not famous but it is used for someone who also is famous but for bad reasons so these are some examples for unique meaning we will get by adding in as a prefix to a word and another speciality of in is sometimes some words which is made using in prefix may not have a free morpheum or a root word like we see in inept inept 
he is used for someone who has no skills but it is not opposite of apt because there is no word as apt in english language and another example is inert which is used for someone who has no strength to move but there is no root word for inert so these are some examples which don't have a root word or a free morpheme another example for negative prefix is this which mostly occurs with adjective verb and nouns example for adjective is dissimilar similar is an adjective and we add this and it became dissimilar and example for verb is disbelieve believe is a verb and examples for nouns is disbelief and disunity and another negative prefix is a which is used in the meaning of lacking a quality completely for example we use immoral as a negative meaning or opposite meaning of moral which means not moral but we also use amoral which is used as an adjective for someone who doesn't have that quality completely so someone who doesn't have any moral quality we may can use amoral and another example for negative prefix is none which we mostly use and that one occurs with adjective and nouns and if you use the word none it will get a meaning of not for example non violent and non existent so these are the things that we have to discuss about negative prefixes in short we learned some examples for negative prefixes like un il ir im in this a and none so in coming classes we will discuss other than negative uses of prefixes inshallah assalamu